Yesterday, we made the body of a teapot, and today I'm going to show you how I like to make teapot-specific lids. For reference, here is a jar Luca made a few years ago, and you can see that the lid sits in the gallery really nicely. But if this were a teapot body, it's not quite secure enough to tilt to pour. Now, this is a spare teapot lid I made years before Luca even made this jar. These are more work to make, but you can see that it is more secure when tilted. It also has a steam hole that allows air to come in as the liquid gets poured out. I always throw these off the hump, and the first measurement we need is the opening where the the ring will drop in, and it is very important that you get these lid measurements immediately after throwing the body, because it starts to dry right away, and as it dries, it shrinks. Once both measurements are correct, I make two cuts, one very close to the top of the lid and one through the hump as a little pedestal, and then I leave those overnight to get leather hard. The next day, the lids are set up and I can snap off those little pedestals. Then I'm going to center and secure the lids right side up on the wheel, trim the top smooth, and attach a little lump of clay to throw into a handle, and come back tomorrow to see how I make teapot spouts. 